Hi there! I've been an avid user of Lightroom for years, but I've always had an issue with storage either being too slow, too small, or unprotected, primarily because I was using it on my laptop. So I've decided to get a Synology, and I thought that all my problems will go away. Or was I wrong? My name is Irai, stay tuned for the solution. First of all, Lightroom doesn't allow you to save a library catalog file onto file share, so you have to stick to a local storage. For a number of years, I've been using CloudStation Drive, which was very helpful and functioned as a local Dropbox. So you have your local storage or local copy of your files, and then everything else gets synchronized to your Synology. This, however, brought its own sets of problems. CloudStation would occasionally lock my catalog files or my preview files or my files that I've been working on. And this was result in either slow access or slow processing and also occasional corruption in the catalog files. So I would have to restore it. Then I upgraded my Synology to 918 plus, which supports SSD cache. So I purchased two 256 NVMe drives to speed up my system. When I did the testing, what surprised me the most was that iSCSI access pretty much doubled. For those uninitiated, iSCSI is a storage system that can access data on a block level using TCP IP or in other words, it's a USB drive on your NAS with a really long USB cable. What are the benefits? iSCSI is faster than a file share thanks to the way it accesses data and when combined with SSD cache, it doubles the access speed surpassing your local drive. To set up, go to Synology DSM and open iSCSI Manager. Go to the Target tab and create a new target. Give it a name and confirm. Next step will prompt you to create a LAN. Choose destination volume, amount of space and provisioning. I would recommend thin provisioning unless you have dedicated space, then go for thick provisioning, which will block all the space during setup and speed up the access. On your PC, search for iSCSI and open iSCSI Initiator. When asked, turn the iSCSI service on so it'll start with your computer. Search for your disk station and connect to your discovered target. Best to create persistent connection so your drive gets automatically reconnected at start. The disk is now connected, but it needs to be set online, initialized and formatted. Go to Disk Management and set the disk online and format it to NTFS. Now you'll be able to save your Lightroom catalog onto your new iSCSI drive without any issues or loss of data. Important note, don't use this on your laptop because when you change your network and your Synology is not available, your computer will crash resulting in a blue screen of death and you will try to figure out what, what is the problem. This happened to me several times until I realized it was the iSCSI and I was on a different network. I moved all my Lightroom catalogs onto my Synology resulting in a great experience and I can access them from pretty much any device whilst I'm on a network. Hopefully this was helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.